Hello everyone, my name is Heidi and I am back here again on Sunday with another incredible baby name list for your inspiration. I am so treating you guys because I have found over 40 newly rare baby names that are vintage, totally vintage from the past, late 1800s, early 1900s for girls. These are all brand new names, except for I believe maybe one of them I have mentioned once, but I'm talking new names. So make sure you guys are just hanging out, chillaxing, come vibe with me, and let's get down into today's name list. So we are gonna start off here with kind of a double barrel name, and that's the name Audie May, spelled O-T-T-I-E and then M-A-E, Audie May. This is so adorable, and I find all of these names just absolutely, honestly incredible. This one's actually a German-originated name, and it means strong-willed and wealthy. Audie May. Next one here, which has actually two pronunciations, we have the name Altine or Altine, spelled A-L-T-I-N-E. Now this one I believe is a South African rooted name. Um, it's a Hausa originated name, meaning Monday. So for a little baby girl born on a Monday, Altine or Altine is an absolute perfect choice. Viana or Vienna, spelled V-E-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. This one's a beautiful V name option for the girls. I actually have a few on today's list. And this one means true or gracious. Maddie, spelled M A T T I E, Maddie. This one is a pet form or like a nickname style name. It means lady. Viva or Veva, spelled V E V A. This is a beautiful gorgeous, very minimal four letter name. It really depends on how you want to pronounce it, but it's a French rooted name meaning to live. Then we have Maisie, spelled M-A-Z-I-E, Maisie. This one's a Scottish rooted name and it means child of light or pearl. I love it with the Z, I think it just sounds super sweet. Then for another M name here, we have Malini, spelled M-A-L-I-N-I, Malini. Now, if you like those names like Mila, uh, Milana, Milan, all of those style, I feel like this kind of goes right in there, but it has that I ending that's just so sweet. And this one is an Indian rooted name. It means fragrant jasmine or gardener. Now for another four letter name here, we have Ada, spelled A-U-D-A, -A, Ada. This one is beautiful. It's an old French rooted name meaning prosperous. Then for another double barrel option here, we have Versi Lee. So V-E-R-S-I-E and then L-E-E, -E, Versi Lee. And it means turning a new leaf, so almost like starting a new chapter, but also it means little song. We have a very playful one here, guys, next. And let me tell you, you think people are playful and different and unique with their names today. Guys, there was the name Cookie, spelled C-O-O-K-I-E, Cookie. Now this one here, actually my dad loves this name and literally suggested it to my mom for a name option for myself. And I'm not even joking you, Cookie. So it's a pet name. It was used as a kind of like a pet name, so like nickname-y style name in the past, but it also is a term of endearment. Next up, we have Shauna, S-H-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, Shauna. This is another wonderful Anna ending name. I love the spelling of this, and it's a Hebrew and Irish rooted name, and it means Lily, Rose, God is Gracious, Wisdom, and Old Wise River. So you have a ton of different meanings there, and I think it's just beautiful. Lots of nature roots, biblical ties, like it's beautiful. Now speaking of biblical ties, another um, variant actually name here from a biblical name is the name Zeporia. spelled Z-E-P-O-R-I-A, Zeporia. Now this one is derived and is a variant of the Hebrew name Zipporah, and it means bird. It's beautiful, you can do like a really zesty nickname like Zeppi or Zippy, just super cute. But with that Poria, you can even do Ori or Oria. It's just beautiful. 
All right, another name that was used both on the boys and the girls side is Henry, spelled H-E-N-R-I-E. -E. Now you can see in the past, a lot of I-E ending names um, for the girls side were kind of coming around and circulating. And this is one of them, Henry. I think the spelling is super cute and definitely could be used today. It's a German rooted name, meaning a state ruler. Then I have Ola, spelled O-L-A, Ola. Now this one is a Norwegian and Swedish name. It's actually derived from the name Olaf, Ola, and it means ancestor's relic. Now before I move on with some more names on today's list, I just want to remind you guys that if you haven't already subscribed yet and you guys are really enjoying today's name list, please do consider subscribing um, right down below here. I do also have tons. I have like over 260 name list videos that you guys can indulge and just enjoy and maybe leave a name of one of your ancestors uh, names, like something from far, far, far back, maybe late 1800s, early 1900s, that was really unique in your family. All right, now speaking of unique, and I still see this kind of now and then, is the name Queen, spelled Q-U-E-E-N, Queen. Now Queen, it kind of became Queeny between the like 50s, 60s, 70s. Um, it's kind of trickled down, but I feel like this is definitely a royal name that will come about, especially with, you know, we already have like Bishop, Loyal, um, all of those style kind of regal names, Reign. Um, I really see Queen, Queenie coming back. Another unique one here is Arvesta, spelled A-R-V-E-S-T-A, Arvesta. Like, how stunning is that? For a three syllable longer name, there's so many different nicknames here. Ari, Vesta, Esti, so many nicknames. So this one was actually kind of hard to find where the origin was, but it was possibly a Swedish rooted name and it means Eagle Tree. Moving down our list here, so next up we have the gorgeous name Pearly, spelled P-E-A-R-L-E-E, -E -E, Pearly. Also the L-I-E form, Pearly, was also used. And obviously this one's derived from the name Pearl. It's just gorgeous and kind of like a cutesy name, um, an addition to just that single syllable Pearl. Now you must have thought Arvesta was a really unique name, but another really rare name that was used is the name Rosena, spelled R-O-S, X-E-N-A, Rosena. Like, oh, I love, love, love this spelling. It's a derivative from the Latin rooted name for rose, and it's just beautiful, like absolutely beautiful. It just has this really coolness about it with the X in there, Rosena, just, oh, I love it, and all of the nicknames as well. Elnora, spelled E-L-N-O-R-A, Elnora. Now this name actually has transitioned quite a bit from Elnora. Um, it is derived from the name Eleanor, but lots of people wanted to have something a little bit more unique. So there was Eleanor, um, Eleonora, and then Elnora. And this is a beautiful French rooted name and it possibly means brightest light. It's actually really hard to find exactly what the meaning is of Eleanor in general, but it does have some light references. Aussie, spelled O-C-I-E, Aussie. This is another really cute four letter name and it's Greek and French rooted and it means ocean. So beautiful. Then we have Zerelda. Spelled Z E R E L D A, Zerelda. Guys, so dreamy, very whimsical. This is beautiful. And it's a Germanic variant, meaning armor battle. Circe, spelled S E A R C Y, Circe. This is such, like, again, very mystical, magical, just like Zerelda, Zerelda and Circe. This they just sound like goddess names. And Circe is actually an old French rooted name and it means Pierce Hedge. Fairy Bell, spelled F-A-I-R-Y-B-E-L-L, -L, Fairy Bell. Yes, that was used. And it actually wasn't like, it was a rare name obviously, but it was used way more than once. So I thought that was very fun and cute, definitely very different, but the direct translation means beautiful fairy. And it's just a very enchanting name, Fairy Bell. 
All right, so for my next name, it's a Polish name and I actually have the full name, but I also have kind of like part of the name that you could use as well as like a shorter name. I have the name Otilia, spelled O-T-Y-L-I-A, but you could also do Tila, T-I-L-A. Now both of these names are obviously, Tila is derived from Otilia. It's beautiful with the O-T-Y-L-I-A, Otilia. It's beautiful. And like I said, it's a Polish rooted name, meaning wealth or fortune. Eula, spelled E-U-L-A, Eula. This is that name that I have used a couple of times, showcased it. It's just a beautiful name, especially if you love those L-A ending names. Um, Ayla, Isla, Eula. And it's a Greek rooted name derived from the name Eulalia, meaning sweetly speaking. Something a little bit more peppy. We have Kizzy, spelled K-I-Z-Z-I-E, Kizzy. This is actually another nickname. It's derived from the Hebrew name Keziah, and it means cinnamon or cassia tree. Then we have Ressa or Risa, spelled R-E-S-S-A. There's different pronunciations for this one, but it's a Greek rooted name and it means leader. Nyri, spelled N-Y-R-E-E, Nyri. This is so cute if you love Naira. I feel like Naira, Nia, Nairi. This is a beautiful addition there. And it's a Maori name meaning flax or pale yellow. Uveka, spell U V E K A, Uveka. I hope I'm pronouncing that one right. I mean, in English, that's how we would pronounce it, but it is a South African name, so it could have a little bit of a different pronunciation. But Uveka, which is such a unique U name, I feel U name are very hard to come by, but it possibly means energy. Then we have Ritinella, spelled R-I-T-T-I-N-E-L-A, Ritinella. And this one's actually a Latin mix name, mixture of like Rita and Nella, meaning bright, sun shining, daisy. We have Luvi, spelled L-U-V-Y, Luvi. Now it could, I guess, technically be lovey as well, but Luvi is the correct pronunciation and it's a Latin rooted name meaning light or light bringer. Then for another four letter name here is Nena, spelled N-E-N-A, Nena. And this one's a Spanish rooted name meaning baby girl. We have Madeir, spelled M-A-D-E-A-R, Madeir. This one was actually used a fair bit and it's a term used for like mother dear. Now before I mention the last few names here on today's list, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of news. For my name consultations, I actually created a little shop or a site for you guys to book name consultations so it's just all under one roof. Alright, so moving on down the list here, next up we have a couple of M names. So we have the sweet name Minty, spelled M-I-N-T-Y, Minty. This one is adorable, and actually personally, I would use this one in a heartbeat. And it's a Greek rooted name, meaning defender. Then we have Melba, spelled M-E-L-B-A, Melba. I think this is stunning. And also it's a Spanish rooted name meaning wealthy. Lorenza, spelled L-O-R-E-N-Z-A, Lorenza. I love saying this name, Lorenza. It just has a beautiful flow, absolutely beautiful. And so many incredible uh, nicknames for this one too. It's an Italian rooted name and it means of Laurel. And Laurel is a symbol of victory. Marianina, spelled M-A-R-I-A-N-I-N-A, Marianina. Now this one is such a longer, like Marianina, like it has five syllables. It's a longer style name, but it's a mixture between like Mary and Nina, kind of put together there but it's a Latin mix, meaning of the sea of grace. Last four names here on the list. So we have the sweet name Eska, spelled E-S-K-A, Eska. This is another one that I find definitely could so be used to, in today's like society. Eska is so gorgeous. It's an Inuit rooted name actually, and it means creek. 
We have Arliss, spelled A-R-L-I-S, Arliss. This is beautiful. You can also add on another S to make it L-I-S-S -S at the end. And this one's an English rooted name, meaning high fort. Second to last name here, we have the name Lita or Leta, spelled L-E-E-T-A. I feel like with the double E, you should do Lita and then L-E-T-A could be Leta. And this one's a Latin and Greek rooted name, meaning gladly. Then last, but certainly not least, you guys, and I really hope you love today's list because honestly, like so many rare, undiscovered and new vintage name gems for girls like let me tell you from the past need to make a comeback in the future but this is the name joetta spelled j-o-e-t-t-a joetta again j names i find is another letter just like you that is very hard to come by new names and i think joetta is so sweet you can do etta you can do joe joey and joetta is an english rooted name and it means gracious Jehovah is God and dreamer. So cute. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did putting it together. Take care. I hope you guys are having a fabulous weekend. I hope it's getting warm outside because it is for us. And I will see you guys next Sunday with another baby names list. All right, take care. Bye.